we're still on section 4 which is entitled Food Science and Technology. Now we have looked at the series production of common food commodities. We also looked at the factors that impact food spoilage and contamination. We looked at perishable and non-perishable foods. And in today's session, we'll be looking at content 5, which is entitled Food Born Illnesses. Now, focus point. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at two topics. We'll be looking at development and prevention of foodborne illnesses, where we'll be looking at definitions, causes and symptoms, and also the difference between food infection and food intoxication, their causes and also their signs and their symptoms. Now, let's kick things off with development and prevention of foodborne illnesses. But before we go any further, it is very important for us to set the foundation and to define the key concepts, right? Now, the first concept that we'll be looking at is foodborne diseases, or we may say foodborne illnesses. Now, foodborne diseases are acute illnesses associated with the recent consumption of food, right? The food involved is usually contaminated with a disease pathogen or toxicant. So the food may be spoiled or the food may be contaminated. Such food contains enough pathogens or toxicant necessary to make a person sick. Now let's look at it all together. So foodborne diseases, or we may say foodborne illnesses, are acute illnesses associated with the recent consumption of food. So when we speak of acute illnesses, we're speaking of those illnesses that sh last for a short period of time, right? Now the food involved is usually contaminated, so persons who may eat contaminated food and this food may be contaminated with microbial pathogens or toxicant. Now toxicant may be intentionally added or sometimes these microorganisms are what produce the toxins on these foods and then contaminate them and when we eat this contaminated food then we get this illness called food born diseases which make persons sick. Now you may wonder, based on that definition, what do you think are some of the causes of foodborne illnesses or diseases? What are some of the causes why these foods are contaminated with pathogens or toxicants, right? Now, based on this image, you're seeing what? poor personal hygiene so that food become contaminated. You may also say poor kitchen hygiene, cross contamination, and we speak of time and temperature abuse. Now time and temperature abuse, remember when we were speaking of perishable and non-perishable food, we spoke of what? The temperature danger zone. So when foods are not stored, especially foods that are at our high risk foods, foods that are easily spoiled, perishable foods, if those foods aren't stored at the correct temperature, then those foods can produce microorganisms and the microorganisms will multiply if the time and temperature is favorable. Now, let us look at some more causes in details. Now, foodborne illnesses is caused by consuming contaminated foods or beverages, right? Many different disease causing microbes or pathogens can contaminate food. So there are many different types of foodborne illnesses. Now, most foodborne diseases are infections caused by a variety of bacteria, viruses, and parasites, good? Other diseases or poisonings caused by harmful toxins or chemicals that have contaminated the food. So when we eat all of this contaminated food, then persons become sick and, this, and the sickness uh, 
that you get from consuming contaminated food is known as what foodborne illnesses or we may say foodborne diseases now let us look at some common symptoms good now have you ever gone out to eat or probably eat at home and you felt sick after eating the food what were some of those signs and symptoms you experienced now let us look at some additional ones so we speak of abdominal pain right pain in the stomach persons may have diarrhea nausea which is accompanying with vomiting and sometimes just a nausea chills and sweating so persons are cold and at the same time what happened they are sweating persons may develop a temperature so they may have fever and also headache now it is very important for these signs and symptoms to be controlled so that persons may not become dehydrated and eventually may die right now let us look at the classification of foodborne illnesses so we know what are foodborne illnesses or we may say foodborne diseases we know the causes now let us look at the types so we have two types guys we have foodborne infections and we also have foodborne intoxications now do you know what the difference is based on context so both of them start with foodborne and at the end one has infection and at the other it is intoxication now let us see if you were thinking on the correct path. Now let us look at foodborne infections. Foodborne infections are caused by the entrance of pathogenic microorganisms. When we speak of pathogenic microorganisms, we're speaking of harmful microorganisms contaminating food into the body and the reaction of the body tissues to their presence now these can either be fungal bacterial viral or parasitic foodborne infections tend to have long incubation periods and are usually characterized by fever now when you have a foodborne infection when we speak of long incubation period it may take a while it may be the next day for you to start feeling ill good and when you start feeling feeling when you start to feel ill sometimes it comes on with a fever now on the other hand foodborne intoxications have short incubation periods that means from you from you consume the food we're talking about minutes to hours and are characterized by a lack of fever now let's look at the difference so remember that foodborne infections they do what they have long incubation periods and they are usually characterized by a fever while on the other hand foodborne infections have short incubation periods meaning that you may get sick quicker than if you have a foodborne infection right and we're speaking of from minutes to hours and are characterized by lack of fever now these are diseases caused by consumption of food containing one biotoxicants which are found in tissues of certain plants and animals good two metabolic products or we may say toxins and these are formed and excreted by microorganisms such as bacteria fungi or algae right while they multiply in food or in the gastrointestinal tract of man or we may say animals good now the two that we speak of are biotoxicants and these which are found in the tissues of plants and animals and also metabolic products which are also toxins that are formed and excreted by microorganisms now 
Three, poisonous substances, which may be intentionally or unintentionally added to food during production, processing, transportation, or storage of food. Now let's go again. These diseases are caused by consuming food that are contaminated with one, biotoxicants, two, metabolic products or toxins, and also poisonous substances. And when persons consume these types of food that are contaminated with these types of toxins, then they have what is called foodborne intoxications. Now, let us just summarize the differences. Now, food intoxication. Food intoxication refers to illness produced by microbial toxin production in a food product that is consumed. The toxin produces the illness. On the other hand, food infection refers to illness that is produced by the presence and growth of pathogenic microorganisms in the gastrointestinal tract that they are often but not necessarily present in large amounts. Good? Infection. Eating food contaminated with pathogens while intoxication refers to eating food contaminated with toxins or poisons formed by bacteria. It also refers to eating food contaminated with other biological or chemical toxins. Activity. Define the term foodborne illnesses. Discuss three causes of foodborne illnesses differentiate between food infection and food intoxication and list three symptoms awesome you've made it to the end of the video don't forget the golden rule subscribe like the video and also share with persons who you know will find it useful thank you for making it fairies tutorials